G'day, it's the Jimmy Hack channel. Today we're going to be looking at a suspected uh, head gasket failure or crack in the uh, in the head around the exhaust valve seat. So a couple of things to look at here. The first telltale sign is to have a look in here, see if we've got some milk. And yes, we've got a bit of white color there so that would tell me that we're getting moisture in the engine the next thing we're going to look at is we're going to pressurize the system with this and um, if it is the uh, the crack in the uh, the head it's pretty rare but it does happen uh, we should expect to see a lot of smoke coming out of the exhaust so let's get this thing under pressure all right I've just pressurized the system we're sitting on about 17 pounds so we'll just wait about two minutes and uh, what we'll do is also take out the spark plugs and verify that we you know we'll have a slightly cleaner look on one of the cylinders I'm suspecting it's possibly number five that seems to be the culprit when this uh, event does take place all right so stand by I'm gonna come back very shortly in a couple of seconds and we'll start the car and have a look at the exhaust all right it's been a couple of minutes Let's have a look at the pressure reading difference. Okay, we've lost probably about a quarter. It's not a big one, but it's a very small crack if that's the case. Um, the current engine temperature is around about 55 degrees. Normally you wouldn't want to put one of these testers on a hot motor because it'll damage the rubber. All right, let's uh, go start this car, see what happens to the exhaust. Give her a bit of a rev. Little bit of water there, bit of vapor. We shouldn't have any vapor coming out of the back of that. So um, that would tell me that um, we certainly do have a leak there somewhere. Now we've got to find it. All right, it's time to uh, take out these spark plugs and have a look for any telltales in the cylinders. All right, guys, so we've done a, a compression check and on average we're getting around about 200 PSI. On every cylinder, except for number six, we're getting uh, 175. It's only a little bit down. It, usually if you've got a, a major leak, it will be down by quite a lot. So obviously there's something going on here. We're losing water. I'm suspecting a partial head gasket failure there. Um, I'll just go back and check this here. That was set up on 20 psi before. All right, just re-pumped it back up to 20, and uh, I'll give it another couple of minutes. I'll check the uh, dipstick, see if we've got any any uh, milk on the dipstick. No, that's pretty good. There's nothing wrong with that. Real good. So um, yeah, it looks like perhaps a head gasket failure here so I won't be tearing this motor down for a while I'll leave it as it is it's only my um, tinker car I'll be putting a um, turbo engine in this um, overhead cam same type of engine but an e-gas motor with the EF head on it uh, the EF heads fly a bit better than the EAUs and um, it'll be a 600 horsepower engine combo for this sleeper all right guys, so the next uh, video I'll be uh, doing some reviews on some tools for changing the uh, the bearings on the back of an IRS, the um, ball joints, and the upper uh, ball joint on the front. All right, stay tuned for further developments.